AI is here whether we are ready for it or not. It is causing so much consternation. Society is diving deeper into the world of automation. Causing uncertainty across multiple industries, including education. Chatbot can write school essays. Jobs. How do you survive a potential job loss? Medicine and politics. All in exists to shine light on artificial intelligence and the impact of technology on our everyday lives. I'm Dr. Patrick Dix. Welcome to All In. Today on All In, the dangers and benefits of artificial intelligence and why one tech titan is warning lawmakers about AI calling for a referee and safeguards to this technology. This might be the best path to safety. Plus, Zero Eyes, the new technology in hundreds of schools across the United States is designed to detect guns before shots are fired saving lives. We talked with the co-founder about how this technology works and is it foolproof. Join me tomorrow on All In as we look at the future of AI in healthcare. How a virtual cell could save lives, Mark Zuckerberg's new plan to use technology to cure diseases. And it's something that frustrates us all. I know I went through it the other day. Picking up the phone to talk with a customer service agent only for AI technology to take over the call. Hey, how's it going? How's your day going so far? Why is it becoming so difficult to get help from humans? We show you three ways to avoid automated phone agents. The holiday season is right around the corner. We continue to proactively explore the future state of the passenger screening experience. Tomorrow on All In, we'll show how artificial intelligence is improving the airport experience the next time you fly. Thank you for joining me on All In. I'll see you tomorrow. What's your forecast in terms of the job market? Automation and artificial intelligence and machine learning will work together to eliminate the human interaction on jobs. So we really need to get the word out about this devastating event. This is the fourth industrial revolution. Are you concerned at all about what's going on in this country nationally? There are gonna be a lot of people left behind if they're not prepared. I'm highly concerned. That's why you know I wrote the research, um, did the dissertation, because I have family members that are gonna be left behind and people I know. Go to a tech school, retrain on a skill set, become a subject matter expert so you can move with society. So tell me your backstory on it. Going to South Carolina State doing computer science, I got more intrigued with computers and some of the jobs that I've taken on and going to grad school doing the same and finishing up my doctorate. But that led to me studying the automation of manufacturing, the potential effects of rural communities. Here's more of my conversation with Dr. Patrick Dix. It can help recruit, it can help with payroll, it can help make other tasks and run faster. We're just at the tip of the iceberg of, what, of this whole AI thing. The research demonstrated that women and minorities are going to be the two most affected groups with artificial intelligence and automation. What do people do? How, how do you fight back? Because the technology is not slowing down. There are three things people can do. First off, they can retrain. The second aspect is become the subject matter expert. Lastly, invest in the technology. What scares me is people are not taking it serious and seeing how this is going to impact their life, not learning about it. You know, when something is foreign to people or they don't know about it, they get afraid about it. And you'll have so many narratives that come out about it. So I'm out here telling people, hey, learn about this technology. It is going to impact you in some shape, form or fashion. That's why I'm very, very passionate about spreading the word about artificial intelligence.